हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आर टुडे टॉपिक इज फैक्ट्री कैलेंडर सो हाउ टू डिफाइन फैक्ट्री कैलेंडर हाउ टू डिफाइन हॉलीडे कैलेंडर्स क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू पब्लिक हॉलीडेज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली हाउ टू क्रिएट अ ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट सो दैट दो फैक्ट्री कैलेंडर कैन बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू अदर क्लाइंट्स ओके सो डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज लेट स्टार्ट नाउ to start with uh, okay you have to start with sap screen for the configuration of the factory calendar there is a transaction called scal so simply type scal on the command field press enter now you are able to see there are different calendars available public holidays then holiday calendar and the factory calendar so just click on the factory calendar go into the change mode by default you are able to see there are multiple calendars available as a part of standard so to take an example i'll simply filter on i just want to have a india as a calendar i n and then click on india and change now you are able to see this is a factory calendar already available in system for india valid from to date is 2000 to 2050 this is important one holiday calendar is assigned to india so this is my factory calendar which is also in there is one holiday calendar assigned to it in so whatever the holidays applicable for india already assigned to factory calendar here yeah then here you are able to see the different working days so based on the business you can change the working days if required like here monday to friday is a working days but in case your client want saturday or sunday as a working day simply click and then save this calendar and those days will be working days in your case then yeah so i'm not clicking those as a working days because that is not the requirement just for sake of understanding i did it so i'm going back now because we are going to define how this holiday calendar is created go back and then click on the holiday calendar radio button go into the change mode now there are multiple holiday calendars also available so i'll click on india as a holiday calendar i n then click here and go to the change mode so this is standard holiday calendar for india is available valid from 2020-50 and you can see all the holidays which are expected are already listed here like bakreed diwali gandhi jayanti yeah so there might be a case wherein you say that i want to add one more holiday which is not listed there so in my holiday calendar the day 14th jan is not listed which is basically used as a part of sankranti or pongal so we are going to create one holiday public holiday for 14th jan and how to do that let's see it going back to the screen so this is my holiday calendar i go back again back click on the public holidays and then go to the change mode so these are the standard holiday listed but i am going to create a new one so click on create 14th is a fixed date 14th jan so by default it is fixed date and then click on create it is asking for the day date is 14th then month is jan so i'm putting 01 then here you are able to see whether this 14th is same day every year thursday friday or saturday so we say no so it is not guaranteed in sort criteria you can simply put a uh, alphabets so that you can sort this holiday then in sort name you can simply put pongal and click on create click on okay and now the factory calendar public holiday is created yeah go back go to the holiday calendar again go to the change mode 
click on IN change now here I want to add 14th Jan which is Pongal created by me so go to the assign holidays you have to search for Pongal yeah so here is a Pongal which is created by me click on it and assign holiday as soon as you assign it you have to save it so that it should reflect in your holiday calendar so once it is saved just go back and again come back to validate that it is added I n click here go to change and you are able to see Pongal as a new holiday is added here. So this is how you create a new holiday and assign to it. Now if I want to change any holiday from the holiday calendar. yeah. So what I'll do is this is the public holiday. I'll click here Pongal. found uh, go to the public holiday change select here and check for Pongal now try to delete it selected public holiday were not deleted why it is not deleted because the assignment of this holiday we have done in our holiday calendar so if you want to delete this public holiday first we have to remove the assignment from holiday calendar so go to the holiday calendar first click here search the calendar change first you have to delete assignment then save it yeah the assignment is deleted from here now again go back to public holiday search for Pongal click here and delete it and say yes see selected public holiday was deleted now that entry is deleted this is how you have to define factory calendar holidays and the public holidays now how to create transport request go to the initial screen go to the calendar you are able to see a transport click on transport and it is giving a message that all the factory calendars available will be transported to the target system say ok now you have to create a workbench request here so simply create your own request see this is going to create a workbench request just give a name transport request for factory calendar and then you have to save it so system will create one workbench request then this request you have to release and transport to the target client so this is how you have to use this transport request so I'm not going to save it yeah because that is not my requirement okay so this is how uh, the factory calendar functionality works hope you guys like it and this is useful in your um, maybe the client work 
so do subscribe guys if you really like and want more such videos thank you very much